Today, I'm going to show you how to hit a rabbit with a hunting boomerang. Take me out in the garden with the beaters and crows. Take me to the back door to see the geckos and moths. Hit me down on the ground to see the spiders fangs. Just get me outside with my boomerang. Get me outside with my Throwing a boomerang at a moving target and hitting it is actually quite a skill. It took me a couple of years to perfect, but uh, if I can uh, show you some of the things that I learnt along the way, I can fast track you to hitting your own moving targets uh, quite quickly. Now in my last episode, I showed you how you can make a boomerang, a hunting boomerang that is, and that was the one that I made there, but it turns out this one doesn't fly very well. There's not enough of a kink in the end, and I couldn't help that with the uh, branch that I started with, it wasn't, didn't have enough of a bend. But I found another tree, and it's a different type of tree. Uh, it's got a Strickland's gum, and I think the wood's better anyway. It's a dense, heavy sort of a wood. And I'll be throwing this boomerang, and I'll be throwing this one as well. This is an old one, made out of black box wood that I made about 20 years ago. So I must have been about two or three years old. Now, I'll be using a real rabbit drawing. This one we'll call Polymer Jack and he's going to move along with a little help from a long piece of string. So without any more mucking around, let's see if we can hit it. Now before I throw the boomerang though I must mention that it's a good idea to bring your eye hand coordination up to speed if you want to get into boomerang throwing yourself. So take up a sport like tennis or badminton or squash or some sort of racket sport or, or another sport where there's a ball and you've got to catch it and hit it and that type of thing. It just brings your eye-hand coordination up much more sharper, which you're going to need if you're going to hit moving targets with a boomerang. Another good way to uh, bring your eye-hand coordination up into spec is to uh, just throw a ball at a wall uh, maybe tennis ball or some other spongy ball and, or, and a golf ball. Uh, different types of balls is good because it just um, changes things up and, and sharpens your skills a bit more. Also using both hands, left and right handed, and uh, just do the best you can in that area. You'll notice that you'll get better and better over the weeks. Another one is to throw the ball up toward, line your back and throw the ball up towards the ceiling and then to catch it again because it's, uh, it's actually an interesting skill that one, you find that the ball is uh, moving down in a different place to where you expect it, so it's quite hard to catch. And once you master that one, that teaches you a lot of skills in the area of um, a, an object moving and how you've got to then reposition your body. Hey dog, quit barking at me. Hey dog. Quit barking at me, you'll never see this face again, my work's through, my money's spent, so hey dog, quit barking at me. Hey lady, you lost your pearls, hey lady, you lost your pearls. Now when it comes to throwing a boomerang, you've got to first of all throw it at a stationary target. That just takes the pressure off having to hit something on the run while you learn your correct action. Now you've got to pick up the boomerang at the long end and the short end is for the top and you face it seemingly away from you so that kink at the top points away from you when you throw it. It just flies a lot better when you throw it like that rather than like this. Now if I was right handed I'd be holding the other end like that with the kink facing away from me that way and this would be the long end and that would be the short end. Now when you throw it you've got to get a good hard grab of it I like to have my hand in that position there with my finger sort of just slightly up and after a few, I don't know, a few dozen throws I'll notice that the bruise on my hand is about there so that's where you're grabbing it, placing it in your palm in that, in that position through there. Now when you throw it, you've got to throw it parallel with the ground. So you release, start off about, you know, about hip height and then release it probably just a bit below hip height. 
and then you keep your whole body low to the ground as you throw it that will keep the boomerang flying um, at a height in the ground where, well height from the ground where you're more likely to pick up your target because it's traveling at its height for a longer period of time. And you follow through sort of like you would any uh, any sport, you know, football, tennis, whatever. You're continuing with your follow through with your body. That keeps your accuracy there and also stops injuries too. So let's have a go at the real thing now. And I might mention too that these boomerangs, hunting boomerangs, they're designed to go absolutely straight and not come back. Because if these things come back, it'll be the first and the last time you throw them. And I wouldn't recommend anybody to do that. Now when it comes to throwing a boomerang at a moving target, there's a few extra things you've got to consider. First of all, that when you watch your target, you have to make an educated guess as to where it's exactly going to go. So usually with a rabbit they're running in a straight line as long as there's no obstacles in the way they'll keep going straight for their burrow or their bush that they're running into so you can pretty much uh, guarantee that they're going to go a general direction next is that when you throw it your body has to move with the direction that the rabbit is going and at the same speed so so if a rabbit's over there running rabbits usually run at about 60 k's an hour at, at top speed so your body follows the rabbit so it picks up the speed of the rabbit and as you release that boomerang will follow the rabbit as it's going so you might be releasing the boomerang I don't know 10 meters in front of the rabbit by the time you let it go and it the rabbit will actually sort of catch up to the boomerang not not the other way around it's kind of it's weird how it works out like that so i'll do that now i'll throw it at um jacko who'll be over there near that tree and when i release it you watch it takes a i don't know a second or two to get to him and um i should be able to hit him let's see how we go okay jacko I don't have your pearls. Hey dog, quit barking at me. Hey dog, quit barking at me. You'll never see this face again. My work is through, my money spent. So hey dog, quit barking at me. Right, had a direct hit on the first one. And the second one just bounced over the top, I think. But that was alright. Hey Sheriff, stay right on my tail. Hey Sheriff, stay right on my tail. Alright, here's the result. Well, Jacko's got, got a bit of a sore chin. Anyway, that's not bad, I haven't done that for about 20 years. So, um, I guess I'll have to eat him with a plastic fork and knife now. Anyway, so there you have it. So you hit a rabbit with a boomerang. Well I hope you had as much fun watching that video as I did making it. Give me a like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and I'll see you next time.